Hello, my name is Mark Pachowski. I work for Ascent. Uh, I currently work as curriculum development lead for uh, Katia and Creo. Um, but I've either worked as a trainer or in curriculum development for the last 14 years. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about the action bar within the Katia 3D Experience uh, version 2022X. Uh, the action bar is this bar here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, if you're new to using Katia, or maybe you're a V5 user who is uh, just upgraded to a newer version, um, this action bar is a different look than what you might be used to. Uh, and we just want to talk about some of the capabilities um, of the action bar and how we might customize it within the system. Um, first, um, if you're a V5 user, you may notice that your toolbars are no longer scattered across the screen like they were in the past. Um, instead, they're all kind of localized here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, we'll see these different sections, these little tabs here, with our names listed, standard, essentials, model, transform, whatever it might be, based on the app that you're in. We happen to be in the part design app. Um, and we can select on these sections to be able to get all of our commands to show up, at least the ones that are within those groups. Now, as you go through here, you'll notice that as I'm selecting different sections, they're switching out, but a couple of them always stay the same. These first four or five icons, no matter which one of these I pick, so I pick on refine, notice the scissors all the way through the swirly arrows, their update, stay the same in each one. That's because that's a pinned section. You can tell that's a pinned section because it has this little blue triangle in the corner. These other ones do not have that blue triangle, so they switch out and are replaced by whichever one I pick on. Uh, the idea is that you want these available to you at all times. If you didn't want them available to you, you can right click on that section name, gives you a list of options, and we can turn off pin section. The little blue triangle disappears, and now I can go through and all of them just switch out with whichever one I happen to pick. If I wanted a different one to be pinned, I would right click on it, choose pin section, the little blue triangle shows up there, and now if I pick on review, which happens after transform, those icons are added to the end of the transform group. If I went to model, it puts these options before wherever the transform options would be. So those commands show up on the end. And we can turn that off. Okay, so that's one way of being able to work with and customize our action bar. Uh, another thing we can do is maybe you're brand new to the system, you don't know what these icons mean. Now, if you hover over the icons, it will tell you the name and it will give you a little brief description over them. And hitting F1 will try to bring up your help files, which can be helpful to understand what those are. But if you're just trying to find out what this button is and you don't want to have to hover over it and read everything about it every single time, what we can do is right click on one of our sections and go to display icons and text. When you turn that on, it's going to now give you the name uh, included with that feature. So it allows us to be able to see the name of the buttons and the icon itself. It takes up more space so we do have to be aware that there's more um, space taken up and won't be available to you modeling. And once you get used to the icons, we could always right click on the section again and be able to say display icons only. It goes back to the default look. Okay. Um, another thing to understand is some of these commands are grouped together by flyouts. So for example, this happens to be the rectangular pattern. Uh, instead of showing you all the pattern options at once, it shows you just this one, but if you wanted to see the other patterning options, by hitting this flyout arrow, it shows a circular pattern and user pattern. So they're grouped together. Uh, this existed in prior versions of Katia, so if you're an old Katia user, this wouldn't be too surprising to you. But if you can't find your icon, you may need to investigate by expanding the flyouts and be able to pick the command you're looking for. Once you pick it, it replaces the previous icon, and you can hit the drop down arrow to get back to the previous icon that was there. Um, another arrow that can cause some confusion is let's say the tools toolbar here, or the tools uh, section. 
Once selected, you can see a list of many icons. There's flyouts, like I was just discussing. But then there's also these hidden areas. It is group. If I click on this arrow, it will expand, turn blue, and show me all the options that were buried underneath. Okay, I can collapse that and get them to disappear because I don't use them all that often, but we can expand it. If you're looking for an icon that uh, supposed to exist in this section, but you can't find it, try clicking on those arrows. And they can exist in multiple locations. So here's one over here as well. A whole list of other icons are available to us. And one over here. Okay, so difference between a group and a flyout option, just the arrow going up and down or left and right. Now, we can customize this ourselves. whether we want to add commands to one of these sections, or maybe we want to create our own section. We can add that to the action bar. Now, to do your customizations, first thing you want to do is right-click on one of the section's names, doesn't really matter which one, and you're going to go to customize mode. Now, notice there's only maybe six options right now displayed here. When I go to customize mode, um, now there's more options when I right click. So there's maybe eight or nine different options that are there. It included at renaming a section, uh, adding section, adding a group, adding commands. All this stuff is new. Well, as there's some um, similar commands here like pin sections available as well. Now. When you're in this customized mode, there's a way of visually telling. And it's maybe hard to see right now, but if you notice, these icons have kind of a box around them. You can see that box. That means we're in customized mode, and that's what we're focusing on. Uh, it'll actually limit you from what you can do within the other commands, and some of these buttons won't work until you exit the uh, customized mode. So to exit it, you right-click on a section, and we'll say Exit Customize Mode. And uh, if you can tell, but all those boxes I talked about don't show up unless you hover over the commands. So it basically becomes one solid background for all the buttons. We want to go back into customize mode, so I right click on the section, choose customize, and if I wanted to add a command, I could right click in here and say add command. It allow me to add it to an existing uh, section. That works for some people. Uh, I generally recommend for new users not to customize this too much because you want to get used to where things are at and learn in the new environment. But what you may choose to do, which is kind of a happy medium in this, is we can create a new section. So add section. So we can drag the section to a different spot if I want at the very end or if I want in the middle, it allows me to move it around. If I right click on it, I can say rename section and I'll call it uh, custom. With custom as the name right now, there are no commands available. I can right click on this and say, add commands. There's other ways to get in this customized window, but I can see the commands I have here. I'm actually gonna go to the sections tab. There's all the different section names. I'll go to the custom and I can add a command. Now here's a list of every command that we have available to us based on the roles that we have within the environment. Uh, I'm going to look for one that isn't available to me normally, which I would have found in older versions of the software, which is Find. Control F brings up Find, but I want to add a button that I can click on to get to it. So I'll type in Find. It automatically uh, locates uh, all the commands that have Find somewhere in it, and I'm going to use this one. Hit OK, and it sticks the icon for that over here in the left of that section. And I could add more to it if need be. I'm going to hit close. Um, if I click on that button, right now it's not doing anything. Again, that's because I'm in that customized mode. Now it's kind of hard to see, but when you have more buttons, you can see more of the squares. I'm going to right click and say exit customize mode. Now when I go to customize or custom, I can click on find and it will bring up, I put it in a different screen here, but it brought up my find window. Okay. Um, other things that can happen with these uh, action, the action bar at the bottom is if you grab one of these sections, you can actually pull it off and it will act similar to a toolbar. Um, but you have to be careful with it. When it's one button like this, you can kind of get away with moving anywhere you want. Some people like to move it up, but it will stop, uh, dock itself 
the different sides of the screen. So if I move it to the top of the screen, it puts it there. Um, if I have a bigger section, I can put it in there and now it creates multiple tabs with uh, just the first initial there to let you know which one it is. You can grab which one you want. You can pull it to the right side of the screen and it will dock there. Now, the thing to be careful of with this is if it gets collapsed, you may not be able to find it very easily. This arrow over here allows that to expand, and now I can click the little pin to keep it displayed on the screen. Now, you can customize however you want, but they eventually can get out of hand if you move around too many spots. Generally, the bottom is going to be probably the most effective place to put them, but I wanted you to see that you have the ability to move them around and separate them out if you so desire. Okay. One other thing that you may notice if you're uh, coming into this from an older version of the Katia software is instead of having single toolbars for everything, which you somewhat do here, you have sections for them instead. So transform is like the toolbar, refine is like a toolbar. Um, those buttons exist within their own little sections but then we have the essentials section. The essentials is basically a list of um, the most commonly used commands quickly available to you. So you don't have to go digging through other sections to be able to navigate to them. You can grab them here. Not everything's gonna be there, and you can customize this to add more or less if you need to. Um, one other thing just I wanted to point out is if you're looking for commands um, and you don't like this interface, you have one other option. If you right click on the display, the background itself, go to display, we can turn on the uh, action pad. And the action pad is a little window that allows us basically favorites uh, to be able to have quick access to for this app. So we're using again the Katia Park Design app. Uh, this gives us a quick way of being able to get to those commands that would normally be available down here and are still available. But uh, you can customize this action pad again if you uh, right click in here and go to customize mode. Now it allows me to uh, add a new group so I can add a group to this. Uh, we can also um, be able to add commands. So if I say add command, it allows me to be able to find a command that I want and drag it onto this uh, list and place it or remove them if I need to to get them off this list. I can drag them out. Okay, so if I went and sound, let's see, all commands, find. There's the find I was uh, looked for before. I can click and drag it and place it onto my action pad or put it into a new group. This can be on this screen or can be moved to separate screens if you need the space uh, to work. Um, one last thing that you might find helpful is if I have a new section, you can be in customized mode and we can say add a group. By adding a group, it puts that extra line there and allows me to create more features. So I can uh, move the same one there. Let's move a couple others. Uh, when you move that section around, the group kind of breaks it into two different areas with that divider line. Put that back, it automatically goes horizontal. Um, we can come in here and we can say add secondary area. And now it has that collapsible arrow. So if I move these around, I can put them in that secondary area and get them to collapse, or get them to expand as needed. So there's just some of the customizations that you have within your action pad. Don't forget to uh, exit the customizations, or if you need to reset everything, we can reset back to the defaults when done. Thank you.